Breaking news out of Pasco County where emergency management has visited the Lakeside Woodlands community in Hudson and say that four additional depressions, these holes that you see in the ground from Eagle 8 HD, four additional holes have opened up in this area. Eagle 8 HD flying over the scene a short time ago to bring us the very latest here uh, from this particular community. They have identified 20 depressions between Sylvan Drive and Willow Brook Court, meaning that over and over again, everybody, what we are seeing is more of these depressions forming here in the Tampa Bay area. Hello there to you. Happy Tuesday afternoon slash evening. It is about 4.05 p.m. on News Channel HJB Buno here with you live on stream. And again, this is from Eagle 8 HD flying over this community a short time ago. Take a look here at this video, everybody. It's, it's, it's pretty wild when you see that these depressions have opened up and many more of them continue to open up in this particular area of Pasco County. Again, Chief Photographer Paul Lamison with WFLA uh, was on air a short time ago here on News Channel 8 talking a little bit about these depressions, how they continuously form here in this neighborhood, but could more be forming? What does this mean with these holes just popping up here in this particular community, in this particular section of Florida? We really want to know because we have a lot of, you know, a lot of questions that need to be answered, and that's why we're bringing in Storm Team 8 meteorologist Amanda Holly. Amanda, thanks for, of course, being with us here. We were just live on stream talking about our forecast. Now we're talking about breaking news here with these depressions that continue to form here. We have four more that have opened up in this neighborhood in Pasco County. Why is this happening? What can you tell us? There's a long explanation that goes into it, and I've got some great visuals to accompany my explanation. But just want to say, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a couple more form and these get wow. a little bit bigger. So more could be on the way. I mean, yeah. this, this could be the start of, of more popping up. Yeah, you know, we typically see this after a big rain. And guess what we had last week? A very big rain. A lot of rain yeah. fell over a relatively short amount of time. And that's why we're seeing these depressions uh, starting to pop up. But um, they're not uncommon in Florida. Florida is covered in sinkholes. Um, and those sinkholes lead to the aquifer. Okay, if, if we want to go to graphics, we have this gorgeous little graphic showing all of the sinkholes that are recorded across Florida. Well, let's and go full screen here so that we can actually take a look. It. So every one of these dots is, is, a, is a sinkhole that's opened up. That's a sinkhole that we know about. Florida wow. is covered in a lot of forest as well, and there's a lot that we don't know about or small ones that we don't know about. But check out the cluster that is near, you know, the nature coast and towards Tampa and in Hillsborough and Polk. Um, they're frequent in Florida, and all, it all really has to do with Florida's makeup. Uh, this is a great visual here. We're going to – this is – we're looking at – the ground of Florida from the side, right? So the top of that brown area is the surface. The bottom is below ground. We're looking at the layers below ground. Florida's ground in particular is made up of limestone or calcium carbonate, CaCO3, remember back to chemistry? And calcium carbonate is dissolved really easily by acidic water. We'll come back to that in just a minute. First, on a normal Florida day here, we get rain, right? We're seeing it outside in some spots right now. The rain falls on the ground. It pools up in some areas. And thinking back to, again, the water cycle, it percolates through the ground. No big deal, right? But as it percolates through Florida's ground, it's moving through decaying leaves and animal. And that water mixes with that decaying matter and becomes acidic back to calcium carbonate. The acidic water then dissolves the limestone as it kind of percolates through the ground. So over millions and millions of years. I was about to say, I was going to cut you off there because this is, <laughs> this is taking place over a long period long of time. Long right? periods of time here. Tunnels form, tunnels of caves form. And that's where we get the Floridian aquifer. That is what is under our feet. There's tunnels and tunnels, miles of tunnels under Florida. I know I've seen them. I'm a cave diver. There's lots of cave divers that are in North Florida. They come to North Florida from all around the world because we have some great caves to dive in. But this also creates a problem when we have fast forming sinkholes that, that, percolate into the ground here. So what happened in Hudson, it's a little bit of a different scenario. We have the caves already there, right? They formed over millions of years, but a lot of rain fell last week in a short amount of time. So what we see is 
the percolation rate, the infiltration rate is a lot higher because of all of that rain pooling up on the surface. So we see a lot more rain moving through. And guess what? That kind of swells the caves a little bit. The, the sheer volume of water flowing into uh, the aquifer and the t caves and the tunnels is a lot higher. So the dis dissolving rate goes up as well. So we start to see um, the caves top the top of the caves, if you will, kind of dissolving a little bit faster. And that actually creates a thinner void from the surface to the top of the cave. So the ground again becomes too thin to support the weight of the water or just support the land in general. There's a big void under the ground. And this is where you have the pressure that's about to give out yes. underneath, right? Yes. So normally the pressure of the water under the ground supports the weight of the land. But when that land becomes too thin or we have a lot of water sitting on the surface at one time, we start to see a break in the ground. So either there's several different ways for, for sinkholes and depressions to form here. But what happened in Hudson is the ground starts to sink a little bit because there's just too much weight and and that's exactly why we're seeing sinkholes being opened up in in hudson yeah so all this rain that we've gotten recently you and i've been on stream on wfla now talking about the rain so, <laughs> so much, much rain. <laughs> the last couple of weeks this is a direct we have we have a cause and effect relationship here the cause is the rain and now this effect is sinkholes opening up and we have a lot of people coming in uh, into WFLA now asking, where is this happening? I want to go one more time to Eagle 8 HD and show this to you here, everybody, because these were the sinkholes a short time ago. Eagle 8 HD flying over Pasco County in the Lake Lakeside Woodlands community in Hudson. So Hudson, Florida, 20 depressions have been identified between Sylvan Drive and Willow Brook Court meaning that four new ones have opened up in the area. We've been reporting on this for several days now, but four additional ones have opened up in this area, as you're seeing here from Eagle 8 HD. So Amanda, when, when we're talking about the science behind it, you're saying that everything that you were just demonstrating on that graph basically is happening here beneath this community. But this is not so, this is something that's been happening over millions of years, right? So this isn't something that recently happened. I mean, the, the water that has fallen and accumulated here in this particular neighborhood has just kind of been the the final it straw. It accelerates right? the process exactly. a little bit there. Now, yes, caves form over millions of years. It takes a really long time for them to happen, but sinkholes can happen suddenly or they can happen over time as well. These just happen to be a little bit faster sinkholes. Um, the likelihood of us seeing, you know, a lot more sinkholes over the course of our lifetime is usually a little smaller. Um, but when we have events like this, we see we see sinkholes form so quickly. Let's talk about this a little bit more in detail. As again, this was a short time ago from Chief Photographer Paul Lamison in Eagle 8 HD flying over this community as we are full screen now. Amanda, when, when we're talking about these depressions that form, it, it's, it's kind of hard to see exactly how deep they are here from this particular angle. Uh, from, you know, of course, a, a news chopper in the sky. But how deep are, are these depressions? Well, that's it's a good point. We don't exactly know. We don't know if the depression has fallen all the way to the bottom of the cave or if the depression in the ground is just sinking and there's still water flowing um, through the cave below the depression, in which case those depressions could continue to get larger. Now, if the depression has reached the bottom of the cave, it's not going to get any bigger. But there is water in it. You can see that it has filled up with some of that that water. Either it's groundwater or rainwater, or it's um, you know water percolating in through the aquifer. But um, we, there's not really a, a good way to tell if if these sinkholes are or depressions are done forming just yet. Right there. Okay. So if you're just joining us, we started with this earlier in the stream, everybody, but there could be more depressions that open up because of the weather conditions as Amanda has been forecasting for the past couple of weeks, the weather conditions with all the precipitation that's fallen, not just in Pasco County, but um, elsewhere here in the Tampa Bay area. But look at how deep that appears to be. That appears to be a really deep hole here that's just yeah those of, lines look pretty small right and so let me ask you this is walking in this area a, a potential hazard i mean do people have to avoid an area near a depression how does that work it it's dangerous i mean again most sinkholes that form don't form very suddenly and these formed you know at least over the 
a course of a couple hours. Um, but it, it's really difficult to tell and pinpoint where sinkholes will form. Um, I wouldn't say that it's dangerous to walk around in this area, uh, but it's certainly a hazard, I guess. It is. Yeah, no, no, it, it is a hazard. And we've been reporting as such on the news. So, um, so I have some buttons here over here, everybody. And, and many of you have been saying, you know, the, the, you know, the comment that is so old, but yet so true, the joke of how depressing. Well, here, here, I got this for you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I have, I have that button here available to me. I can hit it anytime I want because everybody keeps saying, oh my goodness, how depressing in the Facebook Live comment section. Well, yes, it is a little depressing if you live in this neighborhood. Again, it's scary. It is scary. WFLA Now's JB Buno, Amanda Holly here with you live on stream again as we go to Eagle 8 HD full screen here. This is in Pasco County, everybody, where 20 depressions have formed in the Lakeside Woodlands community in Hudson. Four more opening up recently. All the holes are active and showing signs of slight growth. However, they say that there are no life safety concerns at this time and no structures are in danger of being compromised. So what happens, Amanda, if a if a sinkhole forms underneath a home? Are we talking about your living room just kind of caving in beneath you? It, it has happened here in Tampa. A couple years ago, I believe, a, a man was literally swallowed because his bedroom, uh, a sinkhole hope opened up. Um, that was a case more likely in the opposite scenario where it was really dry. We had voids in the actual caves. So remember how earlier I was talking about in the caves, most of the time it's filled with water. We've had plenty of rainfall this year. It's not like the um, the aquifer is lower than it normally would be. But in the opposite case, when the aquifer is lower than it normally would be, uh, there's no pressure. The water isn't pushing back. So there's a void there and the weight of the ground can become too heavy and it, and it will collapse. So that could be the case of a sudden collapse. Um, so yes, it has happened and it's, it's scary. It is something that we take a risk living here in Florida. We are live here in WFLA now and we're reading through some of the comments here coming in on, on Facebook Live again. Um, Samina, Lindy, LOL, how depressing. There you go, there's the bada ching. Um, how about uh, Melvin here saying, he's asking about the liability to developers. A lot of them know that they're developing in sinkhole prone areas and they sell property there anyway. That is a, a great point and we'll definitely be talking about that in our editorial meetings, Melvin, because um, <laughs> imagine, okay, Amanda, I'm gonna paint a picture here for you. Man, uh, imagine being a real estate um, uh, agent and trying to sell a home in this neighborhood and you greet people to sell them a house in this neighborhood and you're driving by the street and you see all of these depressions, these sinkholes that have opened up in the earth. How do you sell a home to somebody when we are, you know, talking about 20 depressions between Sylvan tough. Drive and Willowbrook? I would imagine it, it's like a <laughs> sitcom episode where the, the real estate agent is trying to sell a home, but yet you know, right next door, these depressions keep forming. So Melvin making a really good point that if this is an area that is seeing development or if you're a real estate agent in this particular area, my goodness, trying to sell a home is, is tough. But then look at all the homes right here near around here. it. You yeah. And you know, be a homeowner yeah. in this neighborhood. It, right it, now. It's hard because visually, if it's there or not, the threat is still there across much of the state of Florida because all of the state, at least the peninsula here, made up of that limestone, that karst, it's really porous and the acidic water dissolves it. I mean, that's why we have the aquifer. So if it's there, if you're seeing it, that's scary. But at the same time, if it's not there, it's also a possibility. I'm going to read through some comments here. Uh, Kimberly Murphy saying, uh, scary of, to think of retiring down there. WFLA top fan Kevin Burge, try selling homes in Lake Paget. Same issue there. Uh, WFLA top fan Shana Marie asking, where is this? This is Pasco County, Florida, uh, in the Tampa Bay area. Um, WFLA top fan, uh, I think that's, that's Sylvia. I believe that's Sylvia. Uh, the houses would be for about a buck ninety nine. Well, I, I think that they would go for a little bit more than a a dollar ninety nine. Some people uh, also saying that they would look into buying a home here if it was that cheap in the comment section. But um, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, my goodness, um, it is it is alarming for folks in this neighborhood, um, and uh, it, it's really it's really troubling to think that these sinkholes are opening up right near. Um, right near all of these homes. Uh, Charlene asking, what development th is this? This is the Lakeside Woodlands community in Hudson, Florida. 
Again, I'm going to read this one more time. Pasco County Emergency Management visiting the Lakeside Woodlands community in Hudson, Florida today, identifying 20 depressions between Sylvan Drive and Willowbrook Court. That means four additional holes have opened up in this area. All the holes are active and showing signs of slight growth. However, there are no life safety concerns at this time and no structures, no structures are in danger of being compromised. So that's, there's good news and bad news all rolled into one there, Amanda, but we're going to be following the story on WFLA.com. And I know that in the comment section, or actually in the Facebook Live description, we have an article from our own Kelsey Sunderland, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And she has a link in there to figure out if you live near sinkhole-prone areas. Um, and she also has a good description, again, of... of why kind of these sinkholes happened. But I do want to point out that their solution, I think the county solution is that they want to fill it with cement as quickly as possible to kind of fill the void, right, in the cave. Mm -hmm. But there are a couple problems with that. Um, if you think about it, there's water there for a reason. If we fill it with cement, the water still has to go somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, it, it may be a good solution, you know, for the near term to stop the depressions from forming, but it's kind of hard to say if that's a good permanent solution. Yeah. And if you want to read more, everybody, uh, again, uh, Kelsey Sunderland's report, it's on WFLA.com as well as the WFLA app. Look for the article titled Depression Sinkholes and How to Find Out If You Live Near One pretty ominous <laughs> it's pretty ominous of a headline because the last thing you want to find out right now is that you live near a depression or near, live near a sinkhole and that your you know your home is near an area that could spontaneously cave in uh not not a good thought for the ground underneath your feet but everybody it was a, a fascinating um a tutorial here getting us a little bit of a science lesson here from meteorologist amanda holly taking me back to like to what was probably like an eighth or ninth grade science lesson that i was probably asleep for right amanda i mean i probably <laughs> I mean, fell asleep in the classroom that day it's good to have a refresher day. every once in a while it is good to have a refresher and florida's a little different anyway it is it is and it was great to have that um that discussion and for amanda to kind of walk us through what is going on in the ground underneath our feet here or there in pasco county so if you want more of that tutorial or, or if you want to watch it again, maybe perhaps you missed it. If you're just joining us live on the stream, you can find it after this video is published. Just go back and look for Amanda's fantastic science lesson, uh, giving us a little bit of some insight into what is going on here in this neighborhood in Pasco County. Everybody, I'm WFLA Now's JB Buno. Amanda Holly here with you as well. Thanks so much for being with us here on WFLA Now. Again, read that article on WFLA.com and the WFLA app from Kelsey Sunderland. Again, one more time, it is titled... Uh, depression, sinkholes, and how to find them. Everybody take care. See you soon.